Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through data centered architecture. Okay, so data centered architecture from the name itself, you can clearly say so here the data is located in the center. Okay, so if you once I show you the diagram, you'll be saying that, okay, I got it. You'll be just identifying the diagram only you can say. So the architecture shows that the data repository or the data storage or the database or the files are located in the center and from all the sites the clients can access it. So in this, these are the projects in which the data is accessed frequently by every client. In that situations, they'll be going for data centric architecture. So let us go through the theory from the name. It is clear that the data is located in the center. Yes, that's true. A data store or file or database resides in the center of this architecture is accessed frequently by other. Remember that it is frequently accessed by other components that update, add, delete or modify the data within the database. So that is the reason why it is located in the center guys because it is accessed again and again. So client software accesses the center repository. It accesses data independent of any changes of changes to data action data or action of the other clients. So basically even the other clients changes it until it is finalized or committed, there will be no change for other clients guys. Okay. So data center architecture promotes integrate integratability that is ex ex existing components can change and new client components can add to the arc without concern about the other clients. That is nothing but scalability is increasing. Guys. So you can add multiple devices around around the center of the data so you can add multiple devices so client components are independent and can be executed okay so so the main idea here is nothing but anyone can access and you if you want if you a new client comes you can add him here so if a new client comes you can add him here so there is no restriction that you should have only this much or you should have only these many number of uh, clients there is no restriction like that so you can add or remove whenever you want without any issue okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about data centric architecture in the next lecture we will be going through data flow architecture okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching